Today we're looking at the British English accent of Liam Payne. And I was like, oh no. And then I was like having flashbacks of what happened the night before. And I looked down at my arm and I was like, oh my. One Direction member and successful solo artist, Liam Payne is from Heathtown, which is very close to Wolverhampton. Now Wolverhampton is part of an area we call the Black Country. It's just northwest of Birmingham. Now it's called the Black Country because of the heavy industry that was traditionally found there. We're talking about coal mines, steel mills, and these created a lot of air pollution, hence the name the Black Country. Now it's an area known for having quite a distinctive accent and a strong dialect so there are lots of words and vocabulary that are very specific to this area and in fact the people from the black country are known as yam yams other famous people from the black country include comedian Lenny Henry food writer Nigel Slater and Led Zeppelin lead singer Robert Plant now what I'm interested in finding out is whether Liam Payne has this same black country accent and if it's changed and evolved over the years so I've picked out three interviews, one from 2012, one from 2016, and the most recent one from 2019, and I wanna see if it has changed over the years. We'll also compare it to the other One Direction boys. I can't wait to do this, guys, so let's get going. Now, when I think about the black country accent, I think about the sing-song nature of the intonation, and Liam Payne displays it perfectly here. Um, no, I feel really good, you know. We're having a really exciting time. I'm getting a little bit nervous now as it's coming to like release time. Yeah. So, I don't know, I just really want our song to do well. Can you hear it kind of going up and down? It's, it's quite lilting, it's, it's quite musical in its sound. And I think that's a very distinctive feature of the black country and other accents as well. Um, no, I feel really good, you know. We're having a really exciting time. So can you hear him going up and down? It has a kind of musicality to it that maybe other accents don't have. Now what I'm really interested in is to see if this sing-song sort of aspect to his accent continues throughout the years. Has he still got it now? So we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, no, I feel really good, you know. We're having a really exciting time. I'm getting a little bit nervous now as it's coming to like release time. Zane mm -hmm. is a master of dance. The next big feature that I wanna look at is that ah sound. We've looked at it with all the other One Direction boys and it's the same sound with all of them because they're all from Birmingham and above, okay? So uh, the Midlands and the north of England, they all share that same ah sound. Now in the south of England, and in received pronunciation, you have an R sound, so it's master. So it's that R sound and dance as well, that R sound. But in the Midlands, in the black country where he's from, and in the north of England, it's an A ah sound. So you'd expect to hear master and dance. Zane mm -hmm. is a master of dance. I think we've all got our own little individual taste when it comes to dancing. We hear that same word again, dancing. Uh, you hear there that instead of the ing, ing, it's an in. So he's dropped that g, it's just dancing, dancing. And he does that throughout the interviews. I think we've all got our own little individual taste when it comes to dancing. Let's get another example of that ing sound. Um, no, I feel really good, you know. We're having a really exciting time. Um, Harry, lately... Uh, came up with a new one. Which Here's an interesting one, Harry. The way he says Harry, he's calling over Harry Styles and he uses the H sound. Okay, so we're gonna hold on to that thought for a little while, we're gonna come back to that. Uh, he also has that E sound. So where there's a Y at the end of a word in received pronunciation, in Southern English accents, you're gonna have a E sound, so Harry, right? But in some accents in the North of England, it's a shorter I sound. So it's Harry, Harry. Now, I seem to remember that that E sound with Louis Tomlinson was a shorter E sound. Even though it's pretty small, um, it's not great quality amongst all my tattoos, but this is pretty horrific. Whereas in the black country and with Liam Payne's accent, it's a longer E sound. So he'd say like really or very or Harry. Um, Harry lately uh, came up with a new one. Which... All right, let's move on to 2016. As you just said, we've done five 
albums in five years and toured at the same time. So I think, you know, it's just a little bit of time for us to kind of realize, you know, like how well we've done and stuff. Okay, so the first feature I want to look at is another classic divide between the South of England and the North of England. It's that uh sound. Now it's one that we started with Harry Styles and he uses that uh sound as well. Now on done and stuff there, Liam says done and stuff. Right, that's the same as Harry would say, it's the same as Louis and Zane as well. We're just not touring next year, and we have done for five years. In the south of England, it would be done and stuff. In the north of England and in the Midlands, done and stuff. As you just said, we've done five albums in five years and toured at the same time. So I think, you know, it's just a little bit of time for us to kind of realize, you know, like how well we've done and stuff. It's going to be great, but we all just deserve a little holiday. A little beach holiday in the sun. Okay, a beach holiday in the sun. A couple of things there. Sun is sun, so that same uh sound. And also the H of holiday. He's using it, right? He's saying his H's. Now we noticed that Louis wasn't saying his H as much. He said horrible. Do you remember that? Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible decision. But Liam, he says his H's. In fact, let's skip to 2019 and listen to him saying his H's. I feel like the most painful was hands, but in particular this hand. Now my first observation is that his intonation, it's not as musical as it was in that first interview. He's not kind of going up and down as much. Um, it's a little bit more neutral um, and steady in its tone. So yeah, I'd say that that's maybe one observation, possibly, and it could be the case that when he returns back home, it comes back again. But in this video, his intonation isn't quite as up and down. I mean, I'm guessing he spends a lot of time um, abroad in America, in London possibly. So yeah, he's not in amongst people who have that same kind of intonation pattern. This was, I think, five hours just here. Third and fourth hour, I was like really feeling it. And then the last thing he made me do. Okay, we can still hear that ah sound that he had in that first video on last there, right? Last, not last. So he definitely still has retained lots of features from his original accent. And then the last thing you made me do, what you find with tattoos is like, for anyone who feels like they have a bad tattoo or something out there, like it just becomes part of you. Like The one feature I always like to look at is the T sound and he uses a glottal T. That's when you restrict the airflow as you're saying it. So he says, not tattoo, but tattoo. Tattoo. What you find with tattoos is like, for anyone who feels like they have a bad tattoo or something out there. The feather, when I was little, I read this story after my nan passed away with my mum. Okay, so little, that's classic, little. The feather, when I was little. And we've also got meeting. I got the pleasure of meeting um, someone called Nico Hurtado. And dropping the T there is very normal in lots of British English accents. We found that Harry Styles did it, that Louis did it, and Zayn did it as well. So all of the other One Direction guys dropping their T's, definitely a common feature. Okay, so let's review Liam's accent. I would describe it as quite a soft, black country accent, kind of Midland accent. It doesn't have those stronger features that you might find in other speakers in the black country. His intonation has changed over the years. So I think uh, originally he would have spoken with that sing song intonation. Now it seems a bit flatter, okay? So in the evidence that I've seen in the interviews that I've watched, his intonation pattern has definitely changed. It's mellowed a little bit. But the other features he has retained, so that ah sound, the ah sound, and the glottal T as well. From what I can tell, he hasn't picked up any influences from American English, which, for example, Harry Styles certainly did. And he's generally retained his accent. It's maybe just mellowed and softened a little bit over the years. Guys, now that we've done Harry Styles, Louis Thomason, Zayn Malik, and Liam Payne, is there anyone else? that we should do? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.